Hi my lovely this is Nisha. So today, because you've been asking, uh, I am going to show you my eyebrow routine. I think I've done a couple of videos but they must have been years ago and maybe I didn't tell you what I was using, I don't know. First of all I wanted to say that I am really enjoying these tattoo type pens, the um, the Urban Decay one and the MAC one. The only thing with these ones is I cannot find right color. Uh, I think it's a great idea, they work really good, but I have, um, in Urban Decay, I have Top Trap, which I think is the lightest, and just the tone of it on me comes up quite warm, almost, you know, red, orange and then in MAC I have taupe which is too dark so but I know there is many lighter ones so I might have to get lighter one from MAC but I do like them but that's not what I use most of the time for my brows. Okay so this is my brow routine. The very first thing I use is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brow. Mine is in Linda and I brush my brows with it. it gives me a bit of color so covers any hairs that I have my overplugged and any grays uh, so I can see exactly what I'm working with first of all I forgot to tell you remember to powder really well um, the area the skin around your brow so the pencil doesn't slide around it or do it before you do any makeup just on bare skin Okay, so this gives me a bit of color and also because it's a gel, it will set my brow a bit. So when I'm going in with the pencil, the hair is not moving everywhere. So I, I wait for it a bit to dry. This is amazing product. Um, I think if you have good brows, you just need a bit of color and setting your brows, you just need this. Um, the only thing is I don't feel they last that long don't know how much product is in here but they don't last that long. When you think that it's a bit dry I sort of go like this inside um, to get more product out and that seemed to work. This is like a perfect color for me as well. As you can see my, my own brows are quite dark they're just very over plugged and missing so I will wait for this to dry. Okay, the next thing I use is pencils and I like those little micro pencils. Um, I like the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This, is, this one is from US. The ones in UK are different, but I think I found it somewhere here on some website that you can buy them. So I'll leave you a link for that. And another very good one is NYX. So the L'Oreal I use in brunette, the NYX in top. I like using lighter and darker pen, lighter for the front and darker for the tail of my brow. So my whole brow doesn't look just, you know, solid. Um, also, you know this uh, brow blade from Urban Decay, on one side it has a pencil and that pencil is amazing as well. I might try to use that too. So what I do first is, as you can see, my brow is a bit like a tadpole. It's like fatter here and then it goes up. I want to straighten up that line. So from where this tadpole fat bed ends, I draw, no, I'm gonna go with my, what I always do, won't use that one, um, the L'Oreal Brunette. So I draw straight line and then follow it to my tail. So I draw this line, you know, below my hairs. So I will have to fill this in a bit and do it with like strokes rather than one long. Move. Then I'm taking the top from next. And I'm going to draw parallel line above my brow. To that one that I just made underneath.
and then in between these lines I'm going to draw little hairs. So I start from here, take care of the tail of my brow and then move on to the front. So now at the front with the lighter top one I'm going to draw a line here and at the front where my hair grows up I draw little strokes up and my brows are already a bit set from that um, shallow Tilbury gel so they are not moving too much and I'm just you know brushing in between seeing where I have bold spots like I can see the bold spot here I'm going back to my brunette Filling it in. As long as you have that first te template, you then just go back and forth, filling the bold spots. And when I'm happy that this is all filled in, the last thing I go with is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is amazing. This is like glue. How you set your brows, they won't move all day. How you apply this, because it's got a funny brush, the majority of the product is right on the, on the tip of it. So apply the gel first with the tip all over your brows. And then like mascara, brush that gel through and at the front I brush them up and from about here I brush it at an angle and down here and I will go over it loads of times till I find the shape that I need And that, that is what makes your brows look so natural because you sort of separate all the hairs so it's not like a solid caterpillar on your face. And when you are happy with the shape of the brow, leave the, now this gel to set because you don't want to disturb the hair if you like the way the hair lies. Uh, leave it to dry and then if you still see some imperfections or bold spots go back with the pencil and fill it in. I shouldn't say you should go and do it that's how I do it. <laughs> I'm not you know a makeup artist and I'm not saying that this is the right or the best way to do brows but that's what works for me. Okay so my gel has set I'm going back with the brunette and I can see that this line is the most difficult because obviously I don't have hair there, I'm drawing it all. So I'm going to define a bit more and fill any bold spots. But I think I'm happy with that. And now the last thing that I do is carve out my brow because you know, I can't see that well anymore. <laughs> um, and sometimes this line is a bit jagged and uneven, so we're going to carve out the brow. Take something like lip brush. I find them the best. I've got this one. Um, it's called a meat makeup. I can't remember. I might have got it in some beauty box. It's a lip brush, but it, I think it's a lip brush, but it's slightly angled and very thin. I love it. If I can find it, I will link it down below. Then I uh, take any concealer, I usually do the shape tape but I didn't bring it down here because it's a bit thicker, um, but I will take the Fenty Beauty. Take a bit of it on your um, brush and then draw with one sweep lovely straight line under your brow and then make sure that you blend it out. Can you see that gave me that sharp, nice brow? 
so I'm gonna go off and do my other brow this one is always more difficult because I have to cross my body to do it and my boobs are in the way so <laughs> I'm gonna do that off camera and I will come back Okay, my lovely, so this is how I do my brows. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.